The team at Messiah of Israel Ministries were heading up to Jerusalem to share the good news. As they were driving, uh, the Holy Spirit spoke to Messianic Rabbi Zev Parat and directed him to turn back and preach the love of Yeshua in the Orthodox city of Bnei Brak. As they entered the Orthodox city, they could sense a strong evil presence. They immediately began to pray, seek direction and protection. Zev began sharing God's love with many. There was an Orthodox man named Nisim who came out of the yeshiva, which is a Bible school. Seeing that Zev was talking to many about the Bible, he asked, Would Zev like to study with them in the yeshiva? Was Zev seeking the truth? Zev told Nisim with love and compassion that he has already found the truth and asked Nisim if he could share in the yeshiva. Nisim said he wanted to hear from Zev. Zev said he has found the truth and has a relationship with God and knows where he came from and where he is going. Nisim said, How do you have a relationship with God when you are not studying in the yeshiva under the supervision of a rabbi? Zev responded, God is everywhere. I study the written word of God and that's how God speaks to me and we have a relationship. Nisim replied, What God are you talking about? Zev then said, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God wants our heart, not our works. If you seek God with all your heart, you will find truth. Nisim did not say a word. Zev opened the Bible to Jeremiah 29, verse 13, which says, You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all of your heart. After reading, something supernatural happened. There were some tears on Nisim's face. He said he must be loyal to his ancestors and won't forsake the faith of his fathers. Zev replied, God appreciates the fact that you honor your forefathers, but when we have to choose between loyalty to our families and loyalty to God, we must choose to be loyal to Him, no matter what. The most noble thing we can do is to be faithful to our Messiah Yeshua, and we will be the shining lights in our family. When you say, I can't forsake my family, I remind you that Abraham did. Nisim looked at Zev and said, Shalom. Please pray for Nisim's salvation. Zev continued to share the love message of Yeshua in B'nai Barak.